Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how the DirectX 12 Ultimate feature is enabled on your system. So first of all, what you have to do is, on the search bar, type features. And you will see this option pop up, turn windows feature on or off. Open it, then select or search for the legacy components to be precise. Click on the plus icon over here and then you will see DirectX play or direct play to be precise. Make sure this is enabled. Once that is done, I mean, put a check mark on this one and press OK. At this moment, you will see that it's processing or installing the direct play file, which you will need to wait for one to two minutes for it to be processed. Once that is done, you will need to check which version is your system is. For example, for the direct X play, your system needs to be either 20H2 version or 2004 version to be precise. If not, the DirectX 2 Ultimate feature won't be enabled on your system. So once these all are done, if you'd like to check the DirectX feature is enabled in your system or not, what you have to do is, in search bar, press Xbox Game Bar and open it. Click on the settings click on the game features and it will say if your system is ready for the DirectX Tool Ultimate feature. That's it for now. If you'd like a step-by-step -step procedure, I have added the step-by-step -step procedure in the description below. Have a great day ahead. Bye for now. And one more thing that I forgot to add is that you will need a DirectX Tool Ultimate supported hardware that is only certain graphics card supports the DirectX 12 Ultimate feature. If you don't have that specific graphics card, then the previous procedure that I mentioned will not work for your system.